Did she just score on the wrong goal? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Dolphin. <laughs> Hey guys, Ken Mostek from Ken Mostek Photography. Thank you for joining me again for another video. I got a request uh, to do a video about how to shoot action sports and how to get nice crisp photos and not blurry ones. Uh, you know, there's a lot of parents who are out here in America, it's springtime, and so they're playing soccer and baseball and all of that kind of stuff. And they wanna make sure that they get good crisp photos. So what I thought I would do was come out to the local park where they play lots of soccer or football for you in Europe and uh, you know because there's lots of action going on I found one of the fastest players I possibly could find to, to try to capture her in motion okay that player is ha, little Paigey this is my niece Paigey and she's six years old and she's playing soccer and she's really good she's really fast right yeah? You gonna have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Go get them. Have fun. Get it, Paige. Kick it. Kick it, Paige. Now, a lot of you don't have really big, fancy, expensive cameras. You go to the goal. Go to the goal. Little point and shoots, or you might be, you might dabble a little bit more. But a lot of times, you're just gonna shoot an automatic, and that's completely fine. You just have to make sure that your shutter speed is fast enough to stop that motion. If it's Oh! oh! Sorry. She just made two really good plays. So, <laughs> right now I'm shooting at about one one thousandth of a second. Um, and that will make, that will really make it so that you can stop motion. Even in automatic, the camera is going to shoot for your conditions, right? Um, I'm shooting on an f2.8 lens because it's going to be so bright out because of the sunshine the camera will automatically compensate and give you a faster shutter speed, which is exactly what you want. I'm gonna take a few photos in auto, just so I can kind of show you that you can get really good photos in automatic. When you're six years old, any goal is good. The other thing that you really want to do is you want to anticipate the action. Think about where that player is going to kick the ball and then go towards that area and start shooting. Try to stay a little bit ahead of the action. Get to the ball, get to the ball. Also for this shoot, I'm using the Tamron 70 to 180 lens. It gets me nice and close for this action. Now, not everybody can afford this, and I completely understand that. You can use any lens that you want to. It really doesn't matter. Just have a lot of fun with it. I like to shoot all of my photos in manual. I just have more control over what I want to accomplish. I want to show you some examples of what happens if you shoot too slow of a shutter speed. When the sun has kind of come out. Um, they were talking about rain showers this afternoon, so we weren't really sure, and it was overcast there for a while, which is great light. Right now the sun has come out, so I've had to adjust my shutter speed. I've actually gone up to 1 2500s. Um, I'm shooting at f2.8, which is wide open, so it's letting as much light in as it can. But with the higher shutter speed, I'm ensured that all of the action that I'm taking photos of is going to be attack sharp and clear. Sometimes you gotta get the parents in the shot too. <laughs> <laughs> This kind of action photography will work for all kinds of sports. I use it for dog photography of all things, but you know, dogs don't sit still very long, so you need a faster shutter speed. It's all relative in what you want to shoot. Just make sure that you're shooting fast enough to get those good, clear, sharp images. Say hi. Hi. This is my my nephew, Owen. He plays baseball. He doesn't play the soccer. So 
as I mentioned, I'm shooting an F2.8 because I want a really soft, blurry background behind the players when they're on the field. Essentially, when you're shooting in a higher f-stop, like f8, it's going to make everything more in focus. A lot of landscape photographers shoot in f8 to a f11 because they want everything to be in focus. So, I'll show you an example of that. I'm going to shoot in f8. Here's what it's going to look like. One more tip for you, when you're trying to focus, I use the button, the shutter button, to, to do my focusing. Some people use the back, back button focus. Whichever way you do is fine. But when the players are moving forward and backwards so much, you have to constantly be focusing. So I just keep my finger half pressed on, that, on, the, on the shutter button until it gets into focus. Now, I do it every five seconds. I'm refocusing because they're moving so much. So that's it. Game's over, shoot's over. I'm gonna have a lot of photos, obviously, because I'm shooting in continuous, which means that the camera's just firing off shots left and right. But I'm kind of guaranteeing myself that at least one of those shots is gonna be in focus and is going to be a great shot in capturing that action. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, click that bell for some updates. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Good job! You did so good!